Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the Morning Grain Comments. Well, it's Data Tuesday. We have a chance to look at some of the information that the USDA put out and see if it has any impact on prices. As far as export inspections, wheat is running 6% behind a year ago, and USDA is forecasting actually a 7% increase. Corn's 26% ahead, and USDA is calling for a 3% decline, and beans is running 31% behind a year ago. And USDA is talking about a 12% decline. So again, export inspections could be getting to slow as the normal South American crop is harvested, and we're still concerned about global economy. USDA also rated the Kansas crop 49% good to excellent versus 51 last week. Uh, people on the ground say that crops that were planted on time look great. Uh, crops that might have planted a little bit later than normal didn't get quite the stand probably needs uh, some sunshine and then some rain to get up to yield potentials. We also noted that uh, we continue to try to figure out the U.S. and China trade deal. Uh, rumors floating around that uh, one of the negotiators said that they just won't have time to finish uh, negotiations to sign something before the end of March, and that'll go into April. That follows some of the rumors out of China that might take till June. The uh, Secretary of Agriculture, though, did uh, elude yesterday in a speech that on the table is some uh, good numbers as far as China eventually buying U.S. ag products. Uh, the problem is that it's too early to put out any numbers that could affect uh, the prices. And uh, we also note that from a weather standpoint, uh, we have a little respite this week as far as rains across the Midwest. Early next week, another potent storm moves across the Midwest. The problem with the warmer temperatures is that it's beginning to melt the northern uh, snow. Um, some places had as much as 30 inches of snow this year, and that's melting and filling into rivers and flooding, especially Nebraska, and this flooding will begin to move downstream to Iowa and parts of uh, Illinois and Missouri. So that uh, is a constant problem as far as moving grain logistically, and uh, with that type of weather, uh, farmers are, are reluctant sellers. Um, the rain next week, it's important to see, you know, how much we get and what's following that. Our weather forecast for the 30 days continues to suggest above normal rains for much of the central Midwest. And there's also talk that we could see a little switching from farmer intentions from corn acres they have planted to plant to maybe more soybean acres. And that suggests that March 29th acreage report um, may be more about intentions than actual final acres. As far as the um, tech picture is, markets oversold. Funds uh, continue to add open interest in corn and wheat. Record positions in short um, in the grains and especially in the corn and oil seeds. And so the market is vulnerable for any bounce in case we have a deal or we have a weather issue. But right now, uh, the momentum of the marketplace is down in the grains. What's interesting is that other commodities are actually staging a pretty good rally. We're, um, CRB index is uh, approaching um, the 200-day moving average, and uh, so that uh, could bring in more uh, fund buying in, in the other commodities. And some people hope that'll leak into the grain markets eventually and help uh, some of these funds cover some of their shorts. So again, um, the data as far as yesterday, probably a little bit negative. Uh, the rumors, probably a little bit negative, and the technicals are definitely negative and oversold. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.